You are about to see what Dr. Jane Goodall has called one of the most remarkable moments of her life. What would she do? Would she run off into the forest? We don't know. We're all wondering. And the door is opened, and Hunda comes out. Before exploring her new home, Wanda turned back to give thanks to her caretakers. This footage has been viewed millions of times across social media, but it is neither the end of Wanda's story nor the beginning. Like many other victims taken in by the Jane Goodall Institute in the Republic of Congo, Wanda was saved from the illegal bushmeat trade. She arrived at JGI's Chimpunga Chimpanzee Rehabilitation Center, struggling to survive. Her name, Wunder, means close to death. When I saw the photographs of Wunder as she came to the sanctuary, I didn't see how she could possibly have lived. And it was thanks to Rebecca, entirely thanks to Rebecca, that she survived. Rebecca came rushing back to care for her and did what I believe was the first ever blood transfusion from chimp to chimp, certainly in Africa. We calculate her weight and she's now 50 kilos. When she came here, when she was sick, she was uh, 29. When Wunda first arrived, she could barely feed herself. In the hands of the knowledgeable and experienced staff of the Jane Goodall Institute, she received constant care, medical support, and for the first time since she was taken from her mother by poachers, she felt love. Assisted by other chimpanzees and the staff at the Chimpunga Rehabilitation Center, little by little, she started to come back to life. While rehabilitated chimps may never be able to be reintroduced into the wild, they can find happiness in their social group, in the sanctuary with others who have been rescued. Wanda was now ready to travel to a new home on one of Chimpunga's sanctuary islands. Jane spoke to and soothed Wanda on the way to the island, but no one expected to see this now iconic moment when Wanda turned back and thanked Rebecca and Jane. It was a hug that reminded us of our humanity that we are all connected to every other living creature on Earth and have a responsibility to protect life. Now, there's an additional chapter to Wunder's story. Wunder has quickly adapted to her new forest home and is forming deep bonds with a group of other rescued chimps who show her kindness and respect as alpha female. She even has a best friend named Kudya. Like all female chimps who live in Chimpunga, Wunder received a long-term birth control implant. In Wunder's case, as can happen, the birth control failed. In 2016, Wunder, the chimp who was on the brink of death, gave birth to a beautiful baby named Hope. Today, Wunder and Hope live happily in a community of 50 chimpanzees on Chimpunga Sanctuary Island. Kudia and others in the community love to play with baby Hope, all lending a hand in raising him. For Wunda and all the rescued chimpanzees in Chimpunga Sanctuary, this is a second chance. Wunda's story is just one among the 150 rescued chimpanzees who live in Chimpunga. What you do makes a difference. Saving chimpanzees like Wunda depends on the support of people like you. Please support the Jane Goodall Institute and the work of Dr. Jane Goodall to help give chimps like Wonder a second chance.